It's only my third day at E3 and I've almost completely lost my voice, but I have some extra cough drops, my tea with honey, and I'm gonna go have some fun, damn it. Something about E3 this year felt like the end of an era. All that glitz and glam and big time graphics and costumes and flashing lights, it was all there. But it felt like underneath that might be a slightly rotten core. Software game sales down 42% over last year. Console sales are down with no hope on the horizon other than the confusing and weirdly boring Wii U. I decided to take a look at the future of gaming, starting with the biggest disruptor of all, the phone in your pocket. Yeah, and you know, yeah, hardcore gamers, we don't like to admit that we play games on touch screens, but we're all doing it. We all have smartphones and you know, we, we, we might not think of it as gaming, but when we're sat on the bus, we're playing games. Speaking of the phone in your pocket, here's Microsoft again, promising to integrate the Xbox with phones, tablets, and TVs using a concept called Smart Glass. Microsoft has promised this kind of thing before, although this time they're actually kind of far along. This is gonna update because it knows what I'm doing on the, on the console and say, oh, you're gonna watch The North Remembers. Now if I tap that, now I start getting into the experience. So I have controls here. Over here I could pause, I could fast forward. If I tap this interactive map, I get this map of Westeros. As locations change in the episode, I may not know where I'm at. This is actually gonna update dynamically as the show progresses. And this principle of Xbox Smart Glass, knowing what's going on on the TV and pushing the information to you so you don't have to do the work, is really part of the, the value for a consumer. Okay, I love me some Game of Thrones, but don't worry, Smart Glass also works with games. Here's a concept using Xbox Smart Glass and Halo 4. You could use this second screen to get more game information, even accept multiplayer requests. See, now Halo is my game, so I am fired up about Halo 4. Thing is, though, every time I see like a big long trailer for Halo, you know what I really want to see? The Halo movie. Get on it. Back to those $60 discs. Those gotta go too. Enter cloud gaming. All your games anywhere, maybe even without a console. You know, look, we want so that your next generation, you know, the next, the next TV you buy, the next uh, tablet you buy, you basically are able to to take that a gaming experience wherever you happen to be. And we want to make it as convenient as possible. Now we've got close to 300 games on, like you said, tablets and smartphones, PCs and Macs, and um, our own TV device, the OnLive game system, but also really excited to also be announcing a relationship with LG to integrate the OnLive service into next generation uh, LG Google TVs. The skeptics will say, well, you know, what about the latency? What about the lag? Well, hey, try it. Cloud and mobile are one thing, but I'm ready for augmented and even virtual reality. Sony almost thrilled me with an augmented reality book that turned out to require a real wand, although we are getting closer. Who knows what's gonna come next? Is it gonna be glasses? Is it gonna be a helmet? Is it gonna be interactive windows on the street? I can imagine the same with game consoles. Who knows how it's gonna evolve? I think that uh, technology is moving so fast. People are so creative with it. It's really gonna be exciting. I was kind of surprised to find that while I'm ready for a gaming implant, some pro gamers are not in a hurry for that future of gaming. We have the Kinect now. The Kinect is awesome. I love it. I love the Wii as well. But when it comes to you know competitive gaming, when it comes to shooting games, I don't want to go around and go and do virtual reality. If I wanted that, I would go do it in real life, as, as well as like playing basketball. I'm going to go outside and maybe get a tan instead. You don't want to get to that point where you're wearing the goggles and you're totally immersed. And I don't want to have like a jacket that I can feel like the bullets like hitting me and it hurts. Stuff, yeah, like reloading my I just want to sit on my butt and play video games. <laughs> so maybe T-squared isn't quite ready yet, but my feeling at E3 this year was that this industry needs a revolution, and it cannot be just more amazingly realistic headshots and blood spray. Well, maybe it could be that for a few more years, but after that, it's time to actually get creative. I will be waiting.